Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we're gonna look at Prompt Tuner by Koher. So Koher has created Prompt Tuner, very innovative, you know, uh, framework that they have created. It basically helps you optimize prompts, you know, for specific use cases. If you are familiar with the entire generative AI uh, ecosystem, Technically, prompt engineering is one of the most critical aspects of it. A Gen AI engineer spends around 60 to 70 percent of his time, you know, on prompt tuning, prompt engineering, trying out different prompts, you know, different prompting techniques, and that's why Cohere Prompt Tuner is uh, really good in that case, where you can, you know, uh, optimize certain prompts. There are different ways this can be achieved and there are different aspects to it. If you want to compress a prompt, now imagine if your prompt is too lengthy, then token, token cost will be of course high. If you are uh, asking, like uh, there are a lot of uh, API calls, imagine. Now in that case, it, it has a role to play if your prompts are really lengthy, which also contains, for example, your context within the prompt. Now in that case, Microsoft earlier came up with LLM Lingua for prompt compression that compresses prompt. I have that, uh, you know, a video on my channel where I have shown how LLM Lingua can be used for prompt compression. Now here, if you look at on my screen, I have something called prompt tuner. It says optimizes prompt for a specific use case. And you know, it has a tuner given some examples. Here you can put your prompt to optimize. And then right now, this works for Cohere model that you see the baseline models, but pretty similar. You can use for different other models as well because fundamentally it's next token prediction. If, if it's a foundational model pre-trained, not really you know, downstream or instruction tuned. Now you can, you can just use any model that command R is a good model to start with that you, that you have it here. And then you can put your variables if you want to put some context or you know want to you know wrap the prompt by using some variables you can also upload your documents and then you can set some criteria guys where you have descriptive you can set different criteria you have custom based recommend recommended is accuracy now if you want to have a json word count grounding blah 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 grounding is good for rag and summarization kind of a thing and these things right now this is how the user experience looks the ui ux looks like for this you know over here and then you have run history where if you if you try it out for multiple times, it also stores your history here. That's how it looks like it's currently in, in beta mode right now here. Now, earlier I created a video on Anthropic Console on how to generate prompt, you know, create prompt for a given huge case. Let me first show you here. It says, for example, social media content creation. If I select social media content creation, it says create a social media post based on the topic provided. You can see prompt to optimize. Now imagine if this is your prompt, write an article on topic below to be shared on a social media platform. Make sure to follow the rules below. Don't should be business appropriate. Articles should be between 20, 50 words. Articles should end with a call to action and ask for feedback in the comments. And then you give the topic, right? And then you can optimize the prompt. Now, the thing is, there are three things that you should know. Okay, uh, set the initial prompt create, uh, the initial prompt that needs to be optimized and include any variables or document. That's the first thing. I just created this image to explain. And then you can define some success criteria. So if you look at here, there are some success criteria that you have here. And these criteria is depending on what kind of things you are looking at. You know, somebody is looking at is JSON, you know, that's check if completion is a valid JSON object. If you want to you know, ground it up, you can see images with all information, the completion was derived from the previous prompts and documents, more, more of a rag thingy over here. And then you have word count, check whether the number of words is within the range and you can state the word, you know, for example. Now here you can see I have selected 20 to 50 and you know, here I have descriptive all the description and then recommended is accuracy for this particular huge case, which is social media content creation. Now, how does it work? So if you look at here, this is how prompt tuner works. It says initial prompt template it goes into an LLM, which is a generation model completions. 
and then the evaluation survey so again boils down to evals guys llm as a judge you know for prompt evals you can see the prompt evaluation criteria word count no hallucinations natural language quality is json schema professional tone and you can add multiple over here and they have been they've been added in their prompt itself and then i have a criteria score comes in generate a new instruction given the history the meta prompt and then to, they are using command r plus an instruction generation model and then a new prompt template uh, pretty much self-explanatory and very neat and clean you know in our architecture that explain how it works by the way let's come back here and then click on optimize prompt when i do optimize prompt it might take a bit of time because it has to go through this entire process over here you can see it on my screen right so it will take a few minutes then i will pause the video and come back once this is done so as you guys can see optimization completed it says rerun with current configuration you can also do a new run if you are not satisfied here is your optimized prompt and this is one iteration you can see iteration one best that's the best one there will be multiple iterations over here it says write an engaging social media post on topic below this was your main thingy uh, initial prompt on topic below targeting a professional audience keep the word count between 20 50 words end with a clear call to action and encourage feedback and discussion in comment now if you look at here this is a difference that you can find it out on screen the red one was your initial ones and then the this one which has been an addition over here completions you know and the completion comes in which was basically based on whatever input were given and this is the completion for this now it doesn't just give you this it also gives you the criteria scores you can see it all the results over here that you see the original one and the first iteration which was like selected which is the best one you can see it over here and it also has the other ones same goes here you know if you want to and you can look at the run history i have done a couple of times you can see the same thing now in the tuner you can clear all and let's try with anthropic console and generate something here i'm gonna say translate code to python or translate let me just get rid of this okay i'm gonna say recommend a product on a customer's previous transactions let me generate prompt now anthropic will generate the prompt here you know uh, on the console and i'm just gonna copy this and you can continue and you can also use this eval so we can see if, if it how differently it is optimized let's click on continue here now once i click on continue i can just copy this entire thingy by the way okay and i'm just going to copy this entire thing come probably sometimes it might exceed the token you know depending on because we're using an open source model so don't take a really really lengthy thingy And then if you want to make this a prompt a bit optimized you know you know small sort whatever you call it and then you have other criteria you can also do that it depends on what you want to do guys you know it totally depends on that you can see it says your optimized prompt will appear here this is completions and it's whatnot and optimization succeeded on iteration zero if you scroll down you can see it says this is just example and it tend to the problem the, the reason being because probably we are not uh, passing but it failed you know so what we're gonna do is rerun with current configuration no we don't want to re rerun it let's look at the config and then I want to look at probably okay let me do a new run here and i'm going to add the few same prompt but i'm going to change here okay so i'm going to keep it descriptive uh and yeah it's json and let's try it out okay and then click on optimize prompt and when you do the optimize prompt you can see optimization started you know successfully and probably this prompt might not be that good to optimize so you can look at you know uh, other prompts as well but the underlying idea is that 
these are really important when your cost is going high so you know on a given case study i have seen that just to optimizing prompt you can reduce the cost when you're working for an enterprise so that's very important in those cases guys you can see it's running iterations blah 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 it has an opt and you can see now it has optimized your prompt here so probably the earlier one which was like 20 to 30 words was not a good criteria to optimize this prompt for this huge case which is which we generated from Anthropic. you can see it to recommend a product to a customer based on the previous transaction so good for sales teams and you know recommendations and those thingy you can see running it has to run 10 iterations you know it is now you can just stop it here but yeah that's fine the good thing is it shows you everything in real time by the way you know it also gives you completions because it has some uh, it, it runs some examples and you can see it over here uh, this looks good yeah pretty similar you know i i don't think it has really really optimized you know for this given thingy yeah i don't i don't think so okay so far but that's good now this is how you can try it out the prompt tuner by co here uh, here and I'll, let's let's just see let it get completed here iterations eight out of ten and you can if you want to select some other models you can also select some other models but i was just i just selected this model command r which is by co here and two this is the last iteration so let's wait for it and it's already the best one which shows over here and there is i don't think there is any dif difference to be honest you know uh, because it's the same one that it has shown okay now coming down you can see it, everything is same original and one so you, you have to be very you know uh, i'll say careful when you are optimizing prompts some prompts does not require optimizations you know in that case but you can see it over here now this is what guys i wanted to cover prompt tuner by cohere let us know if you are optimizing or doing something with prompt tuner by cohere ai uh, there are llm lingua that you can try it out that helps you compress prompts probably it's one way of optimization of course and then you can also look at anthropic console itself i have a video on that i'll give that link in description or you can also watch that uh, that video thumbnail in the end of this this video now if you have any questions, thoughts, or feedbacks, do let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. You can also join our Discord community where we, uh, you know, do a lot of coding sessions, jamming sessions. You know, we do hackathons. We do we do help to get internships, freelancing job opportunities, so on and so forth. Feel free to join our Discord as well. Give the link in description. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.